Okay, so this is a quick little video I thought I'd shoot. Um, long story short, I was just uh, using some battery cables uh, to kind of span a distance. And I came out in the morning, and lo and behold, the battery cables had completely pulled out of the Anderson connector. And that caught me off guard. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, and they were just laying on the ground exposed like this. So uh, I am going to investigate on how to re-crimp my Anderson connector. And uh, I'll show you something in the shop here. Okay, so here is uh, the Anderson connector. Quite honestly, I'm going to bet they did not even crimp this thing. Um, feeling around the base here, I don't think it, it, it does not feel like it was cr ever crimped. So I'm going to, I'll cut this back and take a look at the inside. The reason I wanted to come in here was to show you how to get these Anderson connectors out. These, uh, I sat and played around with for about 20 minutes. I was like, what in the world? So definitely recommend sticking this in the vise. And as you look in here, this side I've already removed. And there's, there's, this, there's this, uh, this little spring right here. So if just with a screwdriver, you can push that spring down. And while it's in the uh, compressed state, you literally can just pull this guy out. If you look on the bottom, you see there's the little, the little lip that catches that spring right there. And so this guy here, I'm going to remove him now as well. I'm going to check both crimps. It was interesting that both pulled out. So it really makes me think this was never crimped. So check that out. I, I tore off the cover, the heat, the shrink wrap right there. Look at that. They just taped it. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, I wonder if they just didn't have the crimper. All right, well, it looks like they did crimp it. You can actually see it's concaved a little bit there. I think the problem is they just didn't crimp uh, close enough to the to the edge of the wire to really anchor that in there. So I'll get my crimper out and try recrimping this. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be able to go in there and I'll be able to crimp it. But this is definitely something I think folks should uh, investigate. Uh, some wires... Uh, it can vibrate when there's a lot of amps coming in and off the batteries. And it wouldn't surprise me if uh, these Anderson connectors just were not uh, fully secured. And so you, we're not getting a very good uh, connection right here. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, definitely suggest everyone kind of just investigate your, uh, your battery cables and make sure that they feel like they're in there nice and snug. All right, hope this helps somebody.